Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this video, we will be creating a flat Iron Man vector, just like the one you see on the screen now. And I did create a After Effects tutorial on animating uh, this vector, so if you're into animation and motion graphics, uh, you can click the link in the description, or uh, after you're done watching this video, you can uh, watch on how to animate this vector inside of After Effects. But anyway, you can download uh, this project file in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I like to do when I create vectors uh, like this, uh, things I've kind of been done before, I like to look at reference images, uh, you know, work that other people have done, and uh, try to you know take what works in those vectors and put it into my own work. Um, of course, I'm not the greatest at drawing things from scratch, uh, so I highly suggest if you're not as you know if you're not great like me um, at drawing from scratch, uh, always have a reference image to trace over. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'll move this out of the way and I'll drag this right into here. So let's go to the uh, pen tool and let's start at the top here and let's just draw out a straight line since it's gonna be cut off anyway, so I don't really need that. And what we'll do is we'll just follow the curve down here and we'll just follow uh, the mask. And then at the halfway point here, we'll go all the way down to the bottom and hold down shift and click a point at the bottom. And what I'll do is I'll, instead of just copying this part because it's gonna be cut off, I'll just hold down a straight line like by holding shift and we'll click a point there. And then what we'll do is we'll just go down just like this and we hold down a straight point to here. And then it's actually since now we have um, this in the way, what we'll do is go to hit V on our keyboard, go to the selection tool and then go to opacity and bring that down. Let's change the color of this just so we can see what we're doing. So now we can uh, continue to mask over this and select that point. And then let's go to right here, draw out a curve. And I'm holding down uh, my mouse, my left uh, clicker on my mouse. And then uh, this could work actually. Um, I'm not opposed to it, but let's just stay to the formula. So what I'll do is hold down Alt on my keyboard and I will click uh, this point so those handles go away. And I will just click right here, draw out the curve a little bit more. And then we'll just click right here. And then we'll go here. I'll just draw out a handle just a little bit to have. Click like right here and then go to the top to finish it off. So our mask is done and let's go ahead and refine this point. So I'll go back to the pen tool and I'll hold down Alt on my keyboard and click and drag to pull out these handles. And that'll kind of smooth out that edge instead of being completely harsh. Okay, so now that we're done with this uh, reference, so I can just hide that and I can lock it because I don't need it. And then uh, what we'll do is we will copy this layer and paste it. And then we'll, what we'll do is go to Object, uh, Transform, Reflect, and make sure Vertical is selected. Um, and we'll reflect it over that Y axis and click OK. And boom. Uh, let's go ahead and change the color of this. Um, so you can change the color by going up to the swatches here or uh, selecting the color, but to save time, I'm just gonna go with the eyedropper tool uh, and I'm just gonna select yellow here to have those exact colors and then select uh, this portion of the mask and select this color. And now let's go ahead and go to uh, object group. So we'll group these together and then let's go to the ellipse tool right here to our, uh, you know, our tools. And what we'll do is we'll click and hold down Option and Shift, and we'll draw a circle just like this. And let's go ahead and make it red. And then what we'll do is we will select all these layers, and we'll go to Align. And if you don't see the Align tab, what you can do is go up to Window, Align, and we will center these up just like that. All right, and then what we'll do is select this layer and go up to Object, Arrange, send it back. So now we see our mask, and let's select our mask here and let's make this a little bit larger. Maybe not as large. All right, that's all right. Now what we'll do is we'll select all of our layers, go to the Shape Builder tool, and hold down Alt on our keyboard, and the Minus tool will come up right here, and we will click these little areas here to delete them. So now we have our mask. And what we do now is uh, copy this circle layer and go to edit, paste in place. And let's go ahead and make it this darker shade of red. And let's just center this down. And let's go to uh, object arrange, uh, send backward. And 
Yeah, I'm pretty much on point with that. Pretty close. Okay, so now the next thing we can do is um, start creating some of these uh, details within the mask. So uh, to do that, we'll just go to the pen tool and let's zoom in here and like, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, click a point maybe like right here and we'll kind of create like these eyebrows, uh, more, like, more like a shadow, but it's just cool to have it. All right, and then, I mean, I really like it. Here, and then click a point like that. All right, so now we have created a shadow just using the pen tool, and I'll go ahead and just select this uh, color right here. And then what I'll do is I'll copy, and then go to uh, Edit, Paste in Place, and then we'll go to Object, uh, Transform, Reflect, and click OK. And then we'll just hold down shift and move this over to like right here. And that looks pretty cool. Maybe we'll raise these up just by a little bit. I'm hitting the arrows on my keyboard to move it up. Okay, then let's continue to uh, create these details. So let's go ahead and create like, uh, maybe the, let's do the mouth here. Uh, so we'll only do like one half and then we'll duplicate it. So we'll just go to the pen tool and uh, we'll just draw this out. Kind of like that, I'm trying to just a mouth and go to the halfway point there and then hit V on our keyboard because we're done with the pen tool. And then what we'll do is uh, select this mask and then turn off the fill and go to stroke and we'll turn that up. Uh, that should be okay. And then, uh, then what we'll do is we will copy and go to edit, paste in place and go to object and reflect and click okay. And then we'll hold down shift so we have a even uh, move here and boom now we have this and then we'll select both these layers and go up to object expand and just make sure uh, fill and stroke are selected and click OK. So now we have created uh, the mouth here and then what we can do is go to the pathfinder tool and if this is not popped up if you can't find the pathfinder window go to, go to window pathfinder and then click add. So now we have one fill layer uh, so so now we have the mouth and I'll go ahead and change the color of the mouth to this color. So I'll just select that. So let's go ahead and select the mask layers and the mouth and deselect the circles and go to the shape builder tool, zoom in here, delete these points because it's not perfect. And so now we've created the mouth. So let's go ahead and start creating some of these details like the uh, mask here. So let's go to like the pen tool and create like a mask here. And once again, we'll only do half of it. So uh, we'll draw out like a point like to right here and then we'll go to like halfway here. So click right here and just hold down shift and we'll draw, draw out like a curve like this. And then hold down alt and click right there to for us to get rid of that handle. And we'll click a point down just like that. And then uh, let's go ahead and create just a, be a little creative with this. We'll draw that out right there. And then let's go down a little bit. And then we'll just click a point. I'm just drawing out a mask here. Okay. Go oh, and then. That should be okay. And then once again, what we'll do is we'll copy, go to edit, paste in place, and go to object, transform, uh, transform reflect, Click OK and hold down Shift and drag this all the way down over here till we got this. And once again, click Add on the Pathfinder. And now it's all together. And then I'll just select this color. And now we have our uh, visor or whatever you want to call it. All right. And then now to create the eyes, what I'll do is go back to the pen tool and we'll just move into here and we'll create the, like, the eyes like right here. So like, maybe we'll do something like this hold down alt kind of take the form of the layer all right and then we'll click it to white and then uh, so add just a little detail up here like i don't know like a eyeliner i don't know i just added a little bit of shading but let's go ahead and do that and what i'll do is i'll just uh, click a point right here where that's an anchor and then i'll just draw out like a 
uh, mass, just like that. And then we're done with that, and then what we'll do is just make sure, hit go to uh, the selection tool over here, and then we'll make it like a, a dark gray. And that looks pretty good. And then what we'll do is select both these layers, uh, click copy, go to uh, paste, edit, paste in place, and go to object, transform, reflect, okay. And we'll just hold down shift and move this over to about like right here. All right, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty close to my similar design. This is a little bit smaller, so what I'll do is I'll just select all of our layers here, deselect the mask layers, and then I'll just uh, hold down Alt and Shift and move this up a little bit. Go ahead and add a little bit of detail to this. So we'll go to the uh, pen tool here and you know click a point right here, hold down Shift, and we'll have a straight line just like that and just draw it up to the top right there. And then we'll go ahead and turn off the fill and turn on the stroke, maybe to like six. And now we have this detail. And then what we'll do is go to, maybe make it a little bit bigger. And then go to Object, Expand, OK. And then we can change the color to the mask, boom. And then let's go ahead and select the mask layer here. Um, and then we'll select our, our new stroke here and go to the uh, Pathfinder tool and delete it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and copy this layer, paste in place, and then go up to Object, Transform, Reflect, and click OK. And then let's hold down Shift until we get to that point there. So boom, there's, there it's supposed to be, looks good. And then let's go ahead and create like this little under point here. And actually we'll just probably keep this a stroke, so I'll click like right here, and then we'll just go across here and then Draw like a loop, just like that. It looks pretty good. And then just go to, turn this off, uh, go to stroke. And let's actually make sure we put these points up a little bit more. Let's expand these over here. All right, and then we'll just go to, once again, go to expand, click OK, change the color of it to right here. So everything kind of blends in. Um, and that looks pretty good. And then just add like a little bit of division in this. Um, what I'll do is just kind of click a point straight down right here, hold down shift, um, and then go to the, um, make sure it's clicked, and then turn off the fill and you know go to stroke. Uh, it's not like so thick, maybe four. And then go to object, expand, Click OK, and then we can change the color to that. And then let's actually go ahead and move this up because I want it to end. Right there. And that might be a little bit too thick, but you know, I'm gonna keep it. So we'll do a little bit of you know shading. Um, and you know, we can draw out like a mask right here. Click a point there, go straight across, click right up here click right here and then we just finish it up like that. And then what we'll do is we will select our mask layers and uh, our new shade here and go to the shape builder tool, deselect that. And then let's go here, let's go ahead and make this like uh, a little bit darker. Um, and then go to the opacity and really bring that down. So there we have a little bit of shading. All right, and then let's go ahead and create some more shading. Maybe we'll create one right here. So what I'll do is I'll select a point right here, go straight down, hold down Shift, and we'll just draw it out just like this. Select this mask, select this shade here, go to the uh, Pathfinder tool, delete that, and what was the opacity? It's 32%, and once again, we'll go to uh, 32%. All right, awesome, and then we'll copy, uh, paste in place, go to reflect, and click OK, and then we'll just go all the way over here. Yeah, come on, baby. That looks pretty cool. And then uh, what we can do is go down here again, create a little bit, kind of like the last shade here, and uh, let's go ahead and just click a point right here, click a point down here, and 
drag this handle out. I'm holding down shift and just finish it up like that. Select our mask and our shadow here. Go to the shape builder tool, hold down alt, delete that up. And we'll take this down to 32%. Oops, take this down to 32%. And you knew it was coming. Copy, paste in place. Well, my computer freezes up. And then go to uh, reflect. And OK. And hold down shift. Boom. Oh, not, not boom yet. All right, now boom. And that looks pretty good. Um, it's not exact. Uh, but it's really hard to replicate your work in Illustrator. But um, let's go ahead and get back to the pen tool, and let's just create like this little random detail um, that gave me a, that gave me a little bit of a frustration in my After Effects tutorial. But uh, let's go ahead and just recreate it anyway, and then uh, go to Stroke, turn that off, and then Object Expand, click OK. And then let's go ahead and just make sure we have, I think it's this color, boom. And then let's go ahead and just go to a, a range, send to back, and then let's just bring it forward, range, bring uh, forward. So that was a process of how I created my Iron Man mask. It's not exactly the same thing as my original design, but it's really hard to uh, create the exact same thing without tracing things in, uh, in Illustrator. So uh, please forgive me that it's not the exact thing, but, um, so guys, if this tutorial has helped you, please drop a like. It helps me out tremendously. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more tutorials like this. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please check out my social media links in the description. And guys, hopefully I will see you soon.